Good afternoon. Congratulations. Today was graduation for our first summer video internship program. And uh, we have with us our three graduates. Diamond Cabildo, who is going to be a junior at University of Hawaii's ACM program. And Emily Kurth, who's going to be a junior at St. Andrew's Priory. And Haley Akeda, who's going to be, who has already started her senior year at Hale. Welcome. Okay, so I'm going to start with you, Diamond. So Diamond, tell us, what was your favorite or most interesting project you did while you were an intern at ThinkTech this summer? Um, my favorite project would definitely be the OC16 project, um, which was the one we did about transgender youth in Hawaii. And for me, that was the most important project in this whole internship for me, because um, it really touched upon what I want to do as a filmmaker which is a uh, focus on representation for people who would normally have no voice in media. So, yeah. so what did you do for the project? Um, for the project, I, me and Haley uh, both set up interviews, um, contacted other people with the help of Marianne Sasaki, um, and then we went out and did those interviews, uh, came up with the questions, um, we came up with our script, I actually worked on some After Effects animations to go with our project, and um, and then we edited the whole thing, which was an adventure, but yeah. Okay, great. So now that you finished the internship, are there any particular skills that you acquired during the internship that you think would be helpful for you in your career in the future? Definitely. Um, specifically, it was the skill of communication, uh, especially in relating to people who I don't know or haven't met before, um, which I think would be really valuable in a career in filmmaking because I do would, I would have to work with a team of people who I have to um, uh, try and evaluate and see if, uh, communicate with them, like what I need and what they need from me. Specifically, what kind of communication skills are you talking about? Um, I think just like the general communication, uh, because uh, I have to know how to ask someone to do something or understand what is being asked of me. Um, so because I, I, I feel that it's really important that when you work with a team of people, you will understand what your role is um, in coordination with everyone else's roles. And that's what really makes a, a team effort work smoothly. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So, Emily, what was your favorite or most interesting project while you were here at uh, Think Tech for the summer? Well, the biggest one would be OC16, but I actually, my favorite one, there were many projects. So when something like a glitch happened with the TriCaster or just something happened, maybe the audio, there would be editing that needed to be done for shows. So they would delay putting it up on YouTube and then be like, hey, intern, or, you know, can, because we're so busy, Emily, can you edit this out, you know, you can do whatever you want, just, you know, fix it so it's presentable. And I really enjoyed that because I got to get more familiar with Premiere Pro and not only, yeah, actually, I think, yeah, that would be it, yeah. So actually, is that also what you, what skill that you acquired that you uh, think that would be the most helpful for you in the future, editing? Well, I, I came in here wanting to learn how to edit mm -hmm. and improve those skills, but I now know more about producing and, you know, writing scripts, being on camera, which wasn't my favorite, but I learned about it and those could all be useful in the future. I just enjoyed editing the most. Great. Thank you. And Haley, what about you? What was your particular most uh, interesting or favorite project that you did while you're here? Um, mine was also the OC16 spot I had with Diamond. and. I liked it because, well, we got to organize the interviews, plan where to meet and when, so that was good for just experience. And it was also the longest project that I've worked on since it was about 28, 30. 28 minutes and 30 seconds long, right? Yeah, and I've only been working on like five minute long projects. Before then. So tell us a little bit, what was the topic for our audience? Oh, it was about um, transgender students in Hawaii, since there's a new policy that's being applied in schools. 
So you had to go out into the community to interview people? Yes. Okay, very good. And so what particular skill did you acquire that you think would be most helpful for you while you, in the future, in your uh, career in video production? Um, mostly communication skills because we have to greet hosts and their guests every day and for every show and it helped me become more comfortable in speaking to others. Like if somebody asked me for help in school or a teammate asked me for help, then I can tell them what to do. Great. Now, this wasn't a question that I prepared you for, but I'm going to ask you each if you have a particular show or shows or hosts that you, were, you, you really enjoyed or were impressed by. Diamond? Oh, no. Um. <laughs> I'd say the first show that co that comes to mind is Chantel's Savvy Chicks show because, I mean, Chantel herself is like uh, super fun to talk to at the very least and also um, seeing her interact with her guests and her mission, um, which was to promote young women uh, to achieve their dreams. Um, I mean, definitely I would pick that show. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Emily? Did you have a particular show? I liked Donna's show. Donna now, Blanchard? Yeah, it's Center Stage. Because I'm not into theater or anything, because she owns a theater. But she kind of branched off, and it wasn't just specifically about theater. She had tattoo artists on. She had owners of other theaters. She had like a, a lady from a metal band, and it was so diverse, and I thought it was super interesting and, and kind of kind of different. I thought it stood out the most among the other shows. Mm -hmm. Great. Haley, did you have a particular favorite? Um, I think Clock Talk with Crystal Clock. Um, it's just the atmosphere that she gives her show. It's pretty fun. I, yeah. Did you all learn some interviewing skills, do you think, from these, from watching these shows? Yeah. What yeah. to do, what not to do? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, come prepared, come prepared uh, with questions uh, and, you know, talk with your interviewee um, beforehand and get to know them. So, yeah. Do you like being in front of the camera? We know you came to be, to get experience behind the camera and we've given you lots of opportunity to be in front of the camera. So have that some, is that something that you enjoy doing? Do we expect to see you all in the future in front of the camera? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was fun with it. I like, um, I mean, it's kind of fun yeah. to be uh, on the other side of the camera for once. So that was my experience. Emily? I'm good. You're good? Honestly. <laughs> Staying I mean, behind the camera. I like the technical side of it. I respect the, the people who go in front of the camera, but it's not my cup of tea. Okay. Yeah. Haley? Um, I'm more comfortable being in front of the camera, but I still prefer working behind the scenes. Okay. Great. Well, uh, I don't have any other questions for you. I want to thank you again, and if you had any parting comments, I'm happy to Put them on the air. And, uh, um, yeah. I think just thank you for this opportunity uh, to come here and learn from a really cool staff and learn from all the hosts that, uh, and guests that came through this wonderful studio too. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, that's it from Think Tech Hawaii and our graduation ceremony. This marks the end of our graduation. You are now graduates of Think Tech. Hawaii, and um, we look forward to seeing you in front of the camera and behind the camera in the future for many years to come. Okay, aloha. Mm -hmm.